guys welcome back to my channel once again this is shades of Madi. today i'll be teaching you how i got this party flyer it's very simple and straightforward so let's jump right to it and also i'll be dropping the psd file in the link below please do well to watch the video so you can get the the psd file so let me start by creating a new layer so what i used was 1080 by 1350 so i'll just give you a quick run through of, of how i got it so you come to your file over here okay, let's drag this this is a background layer let me switch off the gaussian blur you see how it looks you can see so what i did was to okay, let me let me copy it here and show you how I got it. So using the Gaussian block, you see if I switch this off, it will turn to this. So I use the Gaussian block. So if you want to know how to use it, you just come to your filter, your blow, and your Gaussian block. You can see. But for this, I used radius at 26, 26.3 for the radius. So what I did, sorry. So what I did again here was to you know okay let's bring in our lady image you see him coming sorry it's loading i'm just giving you uh, the briefs on how, on, on how i got about this particular design you can see this image here so what i did here was you know as usual you know i love adding flares to my flyers so i added this flare control v you know behind the image to give it that feel let's expand it a little bit so you can change the blend mode to linear dodge add you can see so i duplicated let's try and duplicate a little bit if you duplicate this drag you can drag this here you come in you can click your layer mask here come to your gradient tool and gently drag this like this something like this v on your keyboard Control j on your keyboard again you can drag this to the something like so you can you can actually play around it it's very very simple so you know if you want to get this brush you can actually you can just come to you can click on let me switch, switch off all these layers here so you can create your own brush a uh, new layer b on your keyboard then come to your foreground color here you see let's pick this let's try and pick effects so you just tap once like this you cannot change the blend mode as you can see if you can see it's almost the same thing linear dot actually you can use any color you want you can, you can decide to use yellow you can, see, you can see it's giving almost the same so you can use the you can use anything you want to use. So that was how I got all these extra layers here. So I'm just giving you a quick run through on, on how I got it. Sorry. So it's, it's, it's very, very simple. So what I did next again, let me switch off all these layers. Come in. Image. I think I have thought together how I, how I got this. Yes, I think I have thought together how I got this. A tango. Now, as you can see, you can see that this this is looking kind of different here. So let me let me pick, pick the color code here. Twenty two two zero five hundred. Okay, let's come here. On the image, you can see new layer then solid color 220500 now what i did was to layer mask here b can see i'm trying to remove parts of the image so you can actually expand your brush a little bit something like this you know as you can see it's giving you that vibe so it's very very simple you can try to brush this part off 
can see is giving that kind of um blood um, or um background overlay on the image so it's giving that feel so that was how our how, how i arrived at this particular um design so i took my time to you know walk around it and also for this particular rectangle shape as usual, you know you know how to create rectangle you can just come to your rectangle tool here you can drag this like this okay let's say you don't want to use um you want to have this kind of result there are, there are two ways to get it so what, what you can do is you know come to your sorry what i did there was i didn't had any feel at all to it okay, let, let me let me try it again for you rectangle let me draw this like this you can see feel stroke none but what i can do here is uh, is very very simple also i can i can actually come to this fill here and put it at zero then come to my stroke and give it a white stroke and reduce the stroke size something like this very simple very simple so what i did next okay let me get what i did next here oh sorry delete note so let's so i had it by text so you can you can use any font you want you know you can set add anything to it all these things are all these things are png files that i used so it's very simple So, okay, so it's very very simple. So let's come to my text. Yes, come to my text. Now let me finish with this text. So this text now I had I I then wrote ladies night. I duplicated the uh, text layer so you can see the effect over here for the text in front I used stroke at size 3 then gradient 2 then i now did my own gradient valley this allocation look, zero you can see what is the 7 f 7971e allocation zero so you can you can you can actually download the files to have an in-depth idea of 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 what this is is very very simple you can decide to manipulate any way you want you can decide to use only the image you can decide to use only the background so it's very very simple please take your time to you know go through it and you would understand it it's very very simple as you can see here is self-explanatory you just go to go to each layer and check how i got the effect you can just by clicking fx you will see how i got all the effects so it's very very simple so please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos thank you